Y'all, could this happen here? This is absolutely crazy. So I thought I'd bring this to you because what if something like that were to happen here what would we do i know what panic and <laughs> chaos is going to take place if this were to ever happen here in the united states so let me share well i'm already sharing let me just get to it y'all please hit the like button um before you leave and share this video out because what happens around the country and the world could definitely happen here. We see what took place with the pandemic, right? We see where that started and we see where that went and is still going on. So Nigeria plunged into darkness as union workers shut down national grid in minimum wage protests. I mean, they completely shut everything down. It says a nationwide strike in Nigeria brought air traffic and travel to a standstill let's make sure y'all can still see it to a standstill and plunge the country into darkness on monday as union workers stormed the national grid and shut down the nation's power supply that's insane tens of millions are without power and flights have been disrupted as the nigerian labor congress and the trade union congress initiated an indefinite strike operators from tcn were beaten and injured while they were forcibly removed from control rooms um uh, cane swinging union workers were also seen in photos circulating on social media monday ordering personnel of the country's tax agency out of their offices. This strike comes after failed negotiations with the government to raise the federal minimum wage. The unions are also protesting a recent hike in electricity tariffs. So they raising the people electricity and not giving them any kind of raises. And now these people are retaliating and shutting it down presidential aide um, dismissed these demands as unreasonable in a post on social media. Uh, the government had proposed a 100% increase to 60 Naira, which is 44.89, which the unions rejected seeking the 1,547% increase instead. Despite being Africa's fourth largest economy, Nigeria's minimum wage is not among the continent's top 10, lagging far behind countries like uh, Seychelles, I hope I said that right, where workers receive a minimum wage of 465.4 a month. The strike has severely affected travel, leaving passengers stranded at major airports in Lagos and Abuja. Um, airport workers confirmed this to CNN that all incoming and outgoing flights have been grounded, further compounding the crisis. Healthcare services have also been severely impacted. I guess so, if they shut down all the power. Um, one doctor said, I'm worried because the state of the healthcare system is on the verge of collapse. Um, adding that his medical facility located in Southwest Nigeria was unable to power crucial hospital equipment due to the shutdown of the national grid. I mean, coming in the morning, the emergency unit and everywhere was dark. Patients and healthcare workers were all in the darkness. Nigerian Justice Minister um, has declared the strike illegal in a letter to the labor unions, calling it premature and ineffectual in a statement posted. Um, the strike has elicited mixed reactions from Nigerians on social media, with some declaring support, others saying is detrimental to citizens. I support the strike action by the NLC of the minimum wage in 2024 being bumped up from 30 to 60. Uh, Nigeria is unsustainable and unacceptable. The NLC should refrain from actions that punish the common man, the average Nigerian. Electricity, roads, airports, and other critical infrastructures 
should be left to function as normal. Nigeria faces numerous economic challenges, including the devaluation of its currency, which has dropped to record lows in recent months, um, as well as a cost of living crisis marked by soaring prices of food, transport, health care. Inflation has reached 33.69%, according to the country's data. Chow, we dealing with all of this ourselves as far as you know the price of food transport you know gas health care people not being able to afford it um we're dealing with all of these things and people working for what's not making ends meet so the president um bola tenubu's administration has faced criticism for controversial spending of public funds which has fueled public anger so they just spending all nearly willy while everybody else is suffering then approved a 90 billion that's 67 million dollars subsidy attending the pilgrimage and previously, um, multi-million dollar budgets for luxury SUVs and renovations for presidential residences, as well as vehicles for the first lady's office. Wow. Which is not formally recognized under Nigerian law. So a spokesperson for the president admitted that the current wage is unsustainably low, but warned that the union's proposed increase would have severe economic consequences, including significantly higher school fees and potential mass retrenchment if schools and other institutions cannot afford the increased wages. Nigerian parents will now have to grapple with school fees that are 10 times more than what they are paying for. So that's what's happening in news that you can use. And the reason I say news you can use, even though it is all the way over there, y'all, it is all the way over there. But the mere fact that people can go in and shut stuff down, that can happen here. We had people shooting up substations just last year and the year before leaving millions or thousands without power, depending on where they shot it up at. We have all of these cyber attacks and things like that. And I'm trying not to talk about cyber attacks because it seems like I get shadow banned every time I do anything about that. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. But I wanted to bring y'all a little bit of news that you can use. Hopefully you can use it. If so, please hit that like button. Even if you can't, hit the like button, share it out, comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Welcome in. My name is Tommy. I do news you can use. I also do home setting over here as well and store walkthroughs to show you what's happening in these stores. So I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care and there will be another video. So turn your notifications on if you don't have your notifications on. And